Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that it took me a little bit to do this next review. I was trying to look for it, this album review that I'm going to be doing for you guys uh, this afternoon. This is actually for the new Harry Styles album that I just finally found. It came out uh, three hours ago from a certain website I had to go to to download it, of course. So just to listen to the album of course but this is for harry Styles' new album harry's house that i just got done listening to just now so i'm gonna discuss what i listened to for this uh harry styles third studio album harry's house and let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this album review now it starts off very well with music for a sushi restaurant and i really enjoyed that song this is actually probably a pretty good album, for sure. I wouldn't say it's better than Fine Line, but it's actually pretty good for what it's going for. Um, music for a sushi restaurant. There were a few nitpick repetitive times, repetitiveness with how Harry Styles was repeating music for a sushi restaurant. Then he repeats the same line again. And then repeats it in a different line or a different lyric or whatever in the song, of course, when you listen to it. But it is a pretty good song, so I think you guys will like it. So, 5 out of 5 for music for a sushi restaurant. Late Night Talking was actually pretty good. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, wasn't sure if I was going to feel for this one at first, but it it's a grower, I guess you could say. So, 5 out of 5 for this one. I think I'm starting to like it. Uh, well, this was my first listen for Late Night Talking. The other tracks I already heard before. Um, so, the other 12 tracks I heard, I just didn't hear Late Night Talking until now, of course, through this first listen of hearing this album again. <laughs> But Grape Juice was a pretty solid track. I don't know if it's my favorite song right now, but it's alright for what it is. So 4.5 out of 5. It has a pretty interesting melody, but it just... The way Harry Styles is singing it at certain moments in the track tend to be a little hit or miss for me. So 4.5 out of 5 for me on that one. As It Was was a great single, really enjoyed it as the first single for this album, and it is a great song to get into and just vibe and dance around to it, so yeah, this was a pretty catchy song for sure, so 5 out of 5. Daylight, um, not a bad one, but I don't know if I'm feeling for it right now, so 4.5 out of 5. Uh, Little Freak was actually pretty solid for what it is. Not my personal favorite, but it's alright for what it is, I guess. <laughs> so, there's some moments where uh, there's like melodic moments in this track. And mainly what you're getting for this album is a lot of mellow pop tracks and some acoustic tracks too at times. Depending on the song, I guess you could say. Uh, Matilda was actually an acoustic track, and I really enjoyed that song for sure. So, 5 out of 5 for that one. Um, Cinema was a pretty interesting song. Um, it has a pretty good catchy beat to it, and I really like that about the track. So, 5 out of 5. Uh, and Harry Styles singing it sounds pretty good. So was actually not disappointed with the majority of this album. I was actually really enjoying this album, for sure, and vi vibing to it. Um, Daydreaming, it's pretty catchy, for sure. Um, Harry Styles does this falsetto pitch range or whatever, falsetto range that I don't know if I'm on board with, but I still enjoy it for what it is. So... 5 out of 5 for Daydreaming. Keep Driving. Pretty good track. Uh, it's not a long song. It's only 2 minutes and 20 seconds. 
So it's probably the shortest track you're going to find on this album. And then I'll give that a 5 out of 5 because I do like the melody and how Harry Styles is singing the song. And the last three tracks, Satellite, Boyfriends, and Love of My Life. What I heard when I was listening to it yesterday, this album, I heard Love of My Life as the second song, Late Night Talking, and it kind of confused me with which one is the actual song. And when I heard Love of My Life, I'm like, that's not the correct version. So, Love of My Life was, after all, the second track I heard from a different download version that I tried downloading yesterday. But Love of My Life is the closing track to the album. And it closes out pretty nicely. So, yeah, Boyfriends is a pretty strong song and Satellite is a pretty strong one too. So, I gotta commend him for this album. He actually did pretty well. The production and mixing in it is actually pretty well good. Spot on good. And not a disappointing album. So, overall, production, mixing, and execution, like I said. I think Harry Styles' Harry's House is a pretty good listen. Highly recommend you check this out. Um... If you haven't listened to it, it's a pretty good album. I wouldn't say it's going to be album of the year, but it's pretty good for what it is. So it's going to be on my best albums by the end of the year. So first score for me, I'm going to give Harry Styles, Harry's House album a 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good listen. I highly recommend you check it out when it comes out at midnight tonight. And... Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review, because I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I enjoyed quite a bit of songs on this than I thought. I think Music for a Sushi Restaurant, Love of My Life, Daydreamin', Keep Driving, Satellites, Boyfriends, Cinema, Matilda, um, As It Was, and Late Night Talking were pretty much my favorite songs. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this album. And there were probably three tracks that are iffy with me. So majority of this album is pretty good. So you're in for quite a good album from Harry Styles' third studio album, Harry's House. So comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Harry Styles album, Harry's House, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review that it made for you guys, uh, which the album is coming out at midnight on YouTube. So comment below and let me know your thoughts on what you thought of this album review that I did for you guys. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will have another album review coming out Saturday for Maroon 5, Songs About Jane. And then Monday I'll be going to doing the It Won't Be Soon Before Long. And Tuesday will be Hands All Over. Wednesday will be Overexposed and Red Pill Blues will be on the 28th, but it will be premiered, but I'll have it, but I'll be recording it on the 26th just to get it ready for you guys on the 28th at uh, midnight or somewhere around the day of daytime of the 28th. I gotta see what I'm doing that day, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Harry Styles, Harry's House album review. Keep in mind, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. It's a pretty good listen, for sure. It's just, I gotta get accustomed to these newer songs. Um, some of the newer tracks tend to be a little melodic, but for what it's going for, I really enjoyed this album. And this is a good album for sure. It's getting a lot of praise from critics. And I can see why. Because it's that, it's that fucking good. So that's just my opinion. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here by saying thank you so much for watching the Harry's House album review for Harry Styles. By Harry Styles. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Take care. And as always, I will see you in my next review.